it's another episode of Trippin' with Connie. This time I'm heading south to Sutherland, Oregon, my ancestral home. I am so excited to be doing this. It was a must, this is a much needed getaway for me. I have been working my arse off and uh, said, you know what, girl, you need a break. So booked myself a hotel and I'm heading down for two nights. It is Tuesday afternoon, March 30th at almost 2.30 in the afternoon. Getting a late start today. But I am on Pacific time. The sun is shining. It's a gorgeous day. Uh, I had my massage and my chiropractor this morning. So I am all set and ready to go. So come along. <music> just scored a dollar off a gallon <laughs> so it's good to go to places where you actually get points when you shop um, so my Fred Meyer card scored me a dollar off per gallon Woo, 240 I went for the premium so 245 a gallon today not too shabby $27.50 later I got me a full tank Woohoo! on the road we go I just remembered I will probably get traffic going through Rosalia and I do not want to do that. I'm going to spin me around and go a different freeway. Oh. I should have done that in the beginning.
on a road trip, I don't stop at the first rest area. But there's a couple things I needed to take care of before I actually get farther down the road. First of all, I need to get my CDs out because my radio is going in and out. I don't have Cirrus radio anymore. So I want my CDs readily available at hand. I can just reach over, grab them and put them in or actually get them installed in my system. I can put up to six at a time in my bows. So I can put six CDs in. I'm gonna put those through, get them ready to go so that when I need my music, it'll be there. And I uh, wanted to get a couple pictures um, and just kind of, you know, getting my my thoughts together, my head straight. Uh, this is gonna be about a four hour drive. So um, I'm just coming outside of Portland. Uh, I'm about mm, 20 minutes from Portland downtown heading south on I-5 now. So I just wanted to stop quickly, you know, grab my grapes because I'm getting very thirsty. Um, it's actually pretty warm out here. So got my grapes, um, I got my water in my 912 United water bottle. And uh, it's getting water everywhere. I don't know what's going on, I guess it's leaking. So I gotta check on that. Um, my service engine light has been on for a couple of days. So that's why I went with the premium gas today. So I'm really hoping that that's just something that will clear up with the, the new gas in it. Um, I'm gonna keep an eye on it for a couple days. And when I get back, if I need to, I will take my car in. So let's hope it gets me there and back. It will. turned lanes after I decided to come in, changed over in front of me, and now we're leaving at the same time.
parts of Scotland, even though they've never set foot on Scottish soil, it's in their blood. Once it's in your blood, it never goes away. <laughs> oh, I'm excited to be here. <laughs> well, let's see how long that took me. It's now 5.56 p.m. I drove 176.8 miles since getting gas. So, I'm not too shabby, eh? Anyway, I'm here. I'm excited. And I'm gonna, I'm starving. So I'm gonna go find myself something to eat, check in, get food, wander the town a little bit. And then tomorrow is a full day here. It's supposed to be 75 degrees. I'm so happy. I'm just so excited to be spending a beautiful, beautiful day in Sutherland, Oregon. So, see ya. Well, I made it into my hotel room. And you know, it, it doesn't hurt to actually talk to the guest, the, the guest services because, um, you know, I originally had a room with two queens because I wanted a refrigerator. And uh, since it's just me, she goes, well, you don't need the two queens, do you? I said, no, but I wanted the refrigerator. I don't need it, but it would be nice. She goes, well, you're in luck. We have one with the fridge. I'm like, oh, yay. Seriously, look at my room. It's so spacious. Oh, hey. <laughs> I mean, it's super spacious. Plenty of room. Lots of space. And I'm just, I'm seriously, like the first Dorian from the, um, you know, from the vending area and all that. And I've got this nice view from outside. And you can't see it with because of the sunshine. But it's got this nice little bench you can sit on and hang out and look outside. There we go. Isn't it pretty? <sighs> I'm home. <laughs> so I'm going to spend tonight going over next door. I get a discount at the at the um, at the restaurant to get something to eat because this girl's hungry. So I'm gonna head over there, um, go sit down and eat in a restaurant first time in God knows how long. I mean, I did it on St. Patrick's Day, but I ate outside. So I'm actually gonna be in a restaurant eating dinner and I'm excited for that. And uh, take a nice little walk afterwards. Come back, hang out, just relax. I got two nights here. So, yay, I'm in my happy place. <laughs>
back. Anyway, I was just up here telling Grandma and Grandpa and my Uncle Fendel what a wonderful legacy they've left for us, for our family. And little, you know, how could they know back in the, the late 1800s, mid 1800s, you know, what life would be like nowadays? You know, look at the legacy they've left us. Um, you know, and just the view that they have to look out at, it's absolutely stunning. I'm, I'm thinking their house was up here in the hills somewhere, you know, somewhere up in the hills is where they used to live. Of course, the old house is no longer there. Um, the owners that had it last ended up uh, just burning it to the ground, which makes me so sad because it was built in the 1800s, you know, and it was a big, beautiful mansion and grandpa took pride in it, you know, and uh, he took care of his workers. He was a great man and um, just really loved the people of the town, loved the people that were with him, loved his family. Um, so I just, you know, came up here to, first of all, my, my uncle is the first one who came out across the Oregon Trail and sent for his parents and said, come on out. This is great out here. Um, you know, interesting, interesting stories about my family, uh, how my uncle had contracted uh, gold fever, <laughs> literally, uh, and uh, almost died and ended up having to go up to Portland uh, for treatment. And uh, anyway, so he's buried back here. He and his, oh, that's his grave. He and his wife, uh, my Uncle Fendel and his wife, Lucy, and then my grandma and grandpa, John Franklin and Sarah Carmichael. So anyway, just wanted to come up. No um, feather for me today, but you know, I'm coming back tomorrow before I leave. So there might be one when I come back. They weren't expecting me. It's spring, I usually come in summer. So. <laughs> but there's a gorgeous daffodil here. And I took pictures with it. Where is it? It's behind me. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, right there. But this whole area, it looks like it's gonna be full of beautiful flowers, little blue flowers that are popping up here, like little corn flowers or whatever these are called. Bluebell type flowers and, and daffodils. and no heather because it's the wrong time of year for that so summertime i'll come back up in august probably and there will be some heather here um or thistle i'm thinking not heather thistle thistle <laughs> uh lots of thistle up here as well in the summertime so um yeah i'm loving it here i am looking to buy property here at some point you know buy a house down here um eventually so again, quite the legacy. Thank you to Grandma and Grandpa Sutherland because I am just blessed beyond measure to be able to come up here and say, this is mine. <laughs> The sad part of the trip. I have to go home. Although it was um, very short and you know quiet trip, it was eventful for me. It was nice. It was exactly what I needed. Just a short 
get away from the rat race of the city. And I just realized I didn't stop to get gas yet. So I'm gonna go on my way out, I'll grab the gas. I'm gonna go back to the cemetery. First things first, coffee. So, see you in a bit. So I decided to take a quick stop here in Oakland, Oregon, just outside Sutherland, because this is pretty much where my Uncle Fendel spent a lot of time before the town of Sutherland was even established. Uh, they didn't establish the town and give it the name until after my grandfather, I believe it was, that passed away. Might have been after Fendel did, but I know after the family was gone, <clears throat> they, uh, dedicated the area that they lived in and called it Sutherland after them. So that's how it got its name. Um, anyway, this is the town of Oakland. It really is a cute, you know, cute place. It's like very um, Old West looking. Um, everybody's heading into the tavern. It must be, must be time for, I don't know, lunch, breakfast, <laughs> whatever, or just, you know, yeah, everybody said it's the historic Oakland Tavern. Maybe I better go in and check it out. <laughs> I've actually never been in there. So, um, anyway, this is really a cute town. I do like it. And it's, I believe a lot of these buildings are the original buildings that were here when probably my family was here. So that's pretty exciting. Um, I was just back up at the cemetery and just double checked on the dates. My grandfather 
was born in 1800, died in 1885, born in North Carolina. His wife, my grandmother, was born in North Carolina in 1804 um, and died in 18, um, 15 years before him, so 1870. Um, their son died just before she did, so I'm wondering if that's why she passed because it looks like maybe her second son, Clinton, um, died then too. He was born in Iowa and uh, died here. And then Fendel was born in 1824, died, no, 18, 18 what? I figured out that grandpa was 23. So yeah, 1824, and then he died in 1904, something like that. So um, just a few years, you know, 1906. anyway, he died a few years before my grandmother was born. Um, so yeah, they came across in the mid 1800s and established the area. So my family has actually been in Oregon since, and I'm very, very thankful for that because I love my roots and they grow pretty deep here in Oregon and I'm very happy for that. So anyway, it's been a great trip. It's been um, refreshing and it's exactly what I needed. So I'm gonna head out of here in a few minutes and back to Portland. I'll let y'all know when I get back. Bye for now.